This is R.D. Sharma solution, arithmetic progression, class 10 maths, chapter 9, exercise 9.6. In different editions, you will find different uh, chapter like chapter 5 is there in some, some uh, version of the book, R.D. Sharma. But the content remains the same. Find the sum of all integers between 84 and 719, which are multiples of 5. So, 84 and 719. So, which is the number which is divisible by 5 after this? It is 85. And which is the number before this which is divisible by 5, which is 715. So, A in this series, A is 85, L is 715. So, how to find out the number of, uh, how many numbers are there? Means number of, uh, number in the series or AP you can say. For that what we will do, we have the last term. So, 715 is equal to, this is A, N is A plus N minus 1 into D we are going to use. Because we are aware of 85, that is A is known, then N is not known, and then D is also known because it is multiple of 5. So, just put 5 here. So, 715 equals to 85 plus 5N minus 5. So, 85 minus 5 is 80, and 715 minus 80 is 635. So, you get 5N equal to 635. So, N will be 635 by 5, which is going to be 127. So, there are 127 numbers divisible by 5 between 84 and 719. In order to find out the sum of all integers, S120, 127 will be n by 2, that is 127 by 2, 2a, that is 2 into 85, we will take this one, right, plus n minus 1, that is 126, 127 minus 1 into d, what is d? 5, common difference is 5. So, if you solve this, this is uh, the expression and the result will be 50800. Find the sum of all integers between 50 and 500 which are divisible by 7. So, exactly same thing we have to do. First number with first number after 50 which is divisible by 7 will be what? It will be 56. 7 is a 56. What is the number just below or before 500 which is divisible by 7? And that number is 497. So, our series is from 56 to 497. 497 is the last element, so just write this here, equal to A, that is 56, plus N we have to find out into D, divisible by 7, so D is 7, common difference is 7. So, do, what do we get? 497 equal to 56 plus 7N minus 7, 56 plus 7 is uh, 56 minus 7, sorry, 56 minus 7 is 49 and 14, 497 minus 49 is 448, this is going to be equal to 7N, so 7, uh, 7, 7 is 448. So, 7, 6 are 42 and 28, 7, 4 is 28. So, n becomes 64. So, in order to find out this s, that is we have to find s 64. It is going to be n by 2, 64 by 2, 2a, a is 56 plus n minus 1, 64 minus 1 is 63 into d divisible by 7. So, common difference is 7. So, this is the expression you have to solve. It will be 17696. Find the sum of all even integers between 101 and 999. So, 101, what is the number after 101 which is even, which is 102. And what is the number just before 999 which is an even number? It is 998. So, you have A as 102, L as 998 and because all even integers differ by 2, so D is your 2. So, L is 998, so 998 will be equal to A, that is 102 plus N minus 1 into D, which is 2. So, we have to find out this N first. So, how do we find out? This is going to be 998 is going to be 102 plus 2N minus 2. So, 102 minus 2 is 100. Take it here, 998 minus 100 is 898. So, 2N is divided by 2 n becomes 449. So, there are 449 even terms between 101 and 999. So, in order to find the sum, S n will be equal to n by 2, 449 by 2, 2 a, what is a? 102 plus n minus 1, 449 minus 1 is 448 into d, d is 2, common difference is 2. So, we have to solve this and this result will be 246950. I hope you will be able to uh, do it, right? Because the main thing is to make the expression, uh, then there is only plus and minus and division going on.
Find the sum of all integers between 100 and 550 divisible by 9. Exactly same thing, 100 and 550. So what is the number after 100 which is divisible by 9? It is 108. What is the number just prior to 550 which is divisible by 9? Which is 549. So your A is 108. L last number or A N is uh, 549. And what is the common difference? Of course divisible by 9. To, so common difference is 9. So we can find out the number of terms 549 that is that is L or A N will be equal to A which is 108 plus N minus 1 into D which is 9. Okay. So what do we get? 549 minus 108 by 9 equal to n minus 1. So it will be 549 108. So this becomes 144. Uh, 4, yeah. 441. 9, 4, and 5. 440, 441. And 441 divided by 9. So 9, 9, 4 is 9, 5 is 45. 9, 4 is 36. And 41, uh, 81. 9 and 81. And this minus 1 is there. So just take minus 1 also. So it will be plus 1. And becomes 50. So n is 50 here. Now sum of the terms. Sn will be what? Sn will be 50 by 2. And by 2, 2a. What is the first term? 2a 108. Plus n minus 1. 50 minus 1 is 49 into d. What is d? 9. Because divisible by 9. So this is you have to solve. And when you solve the answer will be 16425. Let there be an AP with first term A common difference D. If A N denotes its nth term and NS, uh, SN is the sum of first n terms, find N and SN. So in each of the questions, something something is given, some values are given, some we have to find out. So let us start with the first one, which is uh, N and SN. Uh, we have to find out A D and A N is given. So what all is given is first term, that is A is given as five. Last term that is L is given as 50. Common difference is also given as 3. So what we have to do is first we have to find out the N. N is how? Because we are knowing L. So 50 will be A that is 5 plus N minus 1 into D 3. So this is how we have to solve. This will be 50 minus 5 is 45. 45 divided by 3 is N minus 1. This is 3 1 or 3. 3 5 is 15. So you get 15. 1 here. So 15 plus 1. N will be 16. N is 16. Now we have to find out the number of terms which we have found out and the sum of the first n terms. So Sn will be equal to that is S16 will be equal to 16 by 2, 2 into A which is uh, 2 into 5 plus uh, 16 minus 1 15 into D which is 3. This you have to do and this will be 440. You can also do A plus L because the sum the A and L term is also given. So what I try, I'm trying to suggest here is you can do just do as 16 as 16 by 2 and a and l are given so 5 plus 50 so both of these will give you same similar answer which is 450 next is the last term is given the common difference is given and sum of the n terms is given right sum of n terms is given so we have the last term and we have the common difference so first let us find out the first term or you can say we can have a relationship between n and a then we can put it for the sum of n terms, right? So uh, this uh, last term is 4. This is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. a we don't know. And a plus n also we don't know. But d also, d we know. In this, in this part we know d. So we'll make a relationship between them. So 4 will be equal to a plus 2n minus 2. So this uh, 4 minus 2. So this goes here. It will be 6. A also goes here, so 6 minus A, 2 comes down. So N will be 6 minus A by 2. Or you can say A also you can take. See, see, you can also take A as this is 6, 6 goes here, and minus 2N. Right? You can do like this also. A also you can put, N also you can put. Now let us come to the uh, second part, which is the sum of N terms. Sum of N terms is what? Which is given as minus 14, which is equal to n by 2 a plus l what is a a is a what is l the last term is given a plus 4 so a plus 4 now we get another equation from here so it will be see 2 uh, minus 28 equal to n a plus 4 
Now you can uh, use this a equal to 6 minus 2 n here minus 28 equal to n you can write 6 minus 2 n in this place. See in this question that they have solved differently means the solution is somewhat different but uh, there is uh, always uh, always certain ways to solve it. So this is one of the way. So what do we get? This is minus 28. I hope it is minus 14 only. Minus 14 right. So minus 28 n a plus 4 a we have written as 6 minus 2 n. Minus 28 will be equal to 6 n. Uh, let me first make it as 6 plus 4 is 10. So 10 minus 2 n it is. So this will be 10 n minus 2 n square. So take everything here 2 n square minus 10 n plus 2 n square. This goes here minus 10 n and minus 28 equal to 0. So divide by 2 so n square minus 5 n minus 14 equal to 0. Right. So what you can do here is this minus 5 n can be written as n square um, minus 7 n plus 7 to the 14 2 n minus 14. Right. So n n minus 7 plus 2 n minus 7 equal to 0. So what do we get? n minus 7 and n minus 2 n plus 2 are the are the factors but n is 7 for from this one and n is minus 2 from this one but we cannot take ne n as negative so n is 7. Now when n is 7 we put it here a equal to 6 minus 2 into 7 so the a will be equal to 6 minus 7 to the 14 6 minus 14 so what do you get minus 8. So if you see a is minus 8 n is 7 this is how you have to solve but there is another way also which I told you but there is another way also you can solve like this. So this is uh, for your reference if you want to solve it in another way you can solve it like this. Now we have the first term the sum of n terms and the number of terms. So we will use the formula directly here we have to do nothing because a is also given and sum of terms is also given only d has to be known only a common difference. So sum is 192 this is equal to n by, n by 2 that is 8 by 2 2a that is 2 into 3 plus n minus 1 that is 7 into d, d no, is not known. So take this here, 2 4 are 8, so bring it down, 192 by 2 4 are 8, bring it down, 4, 4 4 are 16 and 8 4 are 32, so we have 48 here. And this is 3 2 are 6 plus 7d, now bring it 7d, now bring it here, 48 minus 6 is 42 and this is 7d, so 7 6 are 42, so you get d equal to 6, this is what we have to find out. Here in this case last term a 9 is given that is the last term is given number of terms is 9 and sum of terms is also given. So what we have to find out is, is the first term. So everything is given you can just put it in the formula you will get it. I will just do it for you. Sn is 144 so 144 is equal to 9 by 2. 2a. 2a is a given no. 2a plus n minus 1, 9 minus 1 is 8 into d. Now d is also not known. Okay, now what we have to do here is that a ninth term is given. So we will make two equations. So let me, let us make first this equation. So this will be 144 into 9, uh, into 2 by 9. So 9 ones are 9 and 9. So 6 9s are 54. So 96 into 2. This is what we get here 96 into 2 equal to 2a plus 8d. Divide both sides by 2. 96 will be equal to a plus 4d. So a plus 4d equal to 96. A plus uh, a this is our first equation. So let us just keep it like this because we have got 288. We can just solve it also. Let it be like this. A plus 4d equal to 96. Now the other equation is a9 equal to 28 that is 28 is equal to a plus 9 a plus 8d. So we have a plus 8d equal to 28. So what we can do is we can subtract. So is d a and d because here uh, we can uh, multiply this by 2 in order to get a. In order to a get a we can multiply it by 2. So we have uh, say multiplied by 2. 
So we get 96 into 2, 2a and ad. Let it be like this. Now subtract. AD, AD cancels. This is a. Now this is 20, 96 into 2. 96 into 2. Uh, minus 28. So here is. Uh, I have to revisit this. So let me take it. 20, 144 is there. I hope it is 144. 144 into 2 by 9. 144 into 2 by 9. And here, here we are 2a, 2a plus ad. So we did that. So 9. Uh, this we already did. 9 ones are 9 and 6 9 are 54. 16 into 2 is 32. Right? So 32 is there. And if you divide the 6, uh, 69 ones are 9, 5, 5, 6 9 are 54, 16 into 2. So 32 is it is coming. 2a plus ad. So let us go back. 2a plus ad is 32. Right? So now we are subtracting a will be equal to 32 minus 28, which is going to be 4. So a is 4. So there is some changes I have done just because of complications of the of the numbers. So I just did it again, and this is a is going to 4. This is how you have to solve. The basic idea is this. Now we have a p whose nth term is a n. So a n is given as 62. Some of first n terms, s n is also given, and first term is also given. A is also given. So a is given 62 and sn is also given 210. So we have to find out number of terms and common difference. So what we are going to do here is this nth term is there and first term is there. So we'll make uh, the last and first term is given. So we'll make an equation like this and because the sum is also given. So 210 is equal to n by 2 a plus n 68 this a n plus a a is 8. So a 8 plus 62 that is 62 plus 8. What do we get? 210 into 2 by 62 plus 8 is 70. So this is what we have n. So this is 35, 35, 7 is a uh, 210. So n is 7 here. Right. Now the nth term is given 62. So we can just write this 62 as a plus uh, that is a is given as 8 plus n minus 1 that is n minus 1. This is 7 minus 1. So 6 into d. d we don't know. 62 minus 8 is 54 divided by 6. We get D. 6 9 is 54. D is 9. Uh, no, this is 6. Yeah. 6 9 is 54. D is 9. So D is 9. You don't have to do this. See, 62. 62 minus 8 is 54. Right? And this is 5. So 54 divided by 5. Uh, this is this is not 5. This is the number of 7. So this is this will be 7 minus 1. This is going to be 6. See 6. So this is 6. 6 divided by 54 is 9. So D is 9. So I'm changing it. D is 9. This is how we do it. Here we have first term as 2. The sum of n terms is 90 and common difference is 8. So A is known, Sn is known, common difference is known. We have to find the number of terms and the nth term. So sum is given. So let us write it as 90 and then n by 2 and we don't know. This also know we we know 2 into a that is 2 into 2 plus n minus 1 into d. What is the d? Common difference is given as 8. So we'll get an equation, quadratic equation here, right? So it will be 90 into 2 equal to this is going to be 4 plus 8n minus 8. So 4 minus 8 is minus 4. So we get 8n minus 4 here. And after uh, outside this we have n. So we have, uh, we can take 4 outside. Let me take it 4n and 2n minus 1 remains, right? So uh, is it possible 2 to the 4 and 245? So what do we get? This as 45 equal to 2n square minus n. So finally, our, our equation becomes 2n square minus n uh, minus 45, right? Equal to 0. So now we have to do something so that we get uh, n as this is 45 into 2. So what do we get? 45 into 2. Uh, 45 is 7 nines are uh, 5 nines are 45. And we have 2. So 5 to the 10 and 9. So you get 2n square and minus 10n plus n minus 45. So no, it is 10n and 9n. Right? 10 you get 9n. So what you can do here is 2n you can take n minus 5. Here you can take 9 n minus 5 equal to 0. So 2n plus 9 is one factor. 
and n minus 5 is another factor. So, this will give you n equal to minus 9 by 2. This is not we can take because n has to be integer and, and positive. So, n equal to 5. So, n is the 5 is the n equal to 5 is the uh, result. But one more thing we have to find out that what is the nth term. So, a n that is a 5 we have to find. So, this will be a plus 4 d right. So, what is a 2 plus 4 into d that is the term will be 34. 